Hey guys, what is going on? Um, I just want to talk about, you know, different forms on your lift and why maybe you shouldn't always go for something that is going to allow you to lift the most weight. Um, and I know that everybody, you know, is all about their ego. They want to add the most weight to the bar as possible and lift the most and tell their friends that they bench this much and squat this much and whatever. But I really think um, if you're in lifting for the right reasons, it should be a long-term thing and it should be about health and you should try and remain injury free. Um, and I think you should do a style that feels most natural to you and you should definitely work on your weaknesses. Um, but at the same time, there's no reason to do something just because, you know, bro science or the guys at the gym or guys online are telling you that this is the only way you got to do it. I think, um, it should be your own personal journey and, uh, you know, Oh, you know, you should lift in these ratios and stuff. Everybody's body is different. And I really think, um, you should just focus on yourself. Um, so me, for example, um, last time I checked my squat was 60 pounds more than my deadlift. And that's obviously, um, not just because I have super powerful quads or anything like that. Um, it's just that, you know, my deadlift has been lagging behind and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I've always found, um, I basically almost always try to pull conventional, um, which just feels very unnatural to me. Um, even though I have long arms, long legs, short torso, which you would think that pulling conventional would be, you know, optimal for me. You'd think my deadlift would actually be significantly higher than my squat considering, you know, I'm a long legged guy. Um, but I just really haven't been training it. Um, and so my deadlift is pretty poor and just my form is pretty bad in general. Um, so for me, you know, that's something that is specific to me as well as um, I've had a lower back injury in the past. And I think that's really contributed to me not wanting to work my back in general or not being able to really um, rely on my back, I guess. Um, and I've been trying to, you know, improve that lower back strength and I haven't really had any issues since. So I think it's strong enough. Um, but it just always feels wrong when I pull a conventional and I, you know, am using that lower back a bit more. Um, so for somebody like me, um, you know, the internet would tell me, Hey, you need to pull conventional or you need to deadlift a ton. Um, always try and do the most weight, whatever. Um, for me, I think pulling sumo just feels so much better. And even if, as far as leverages go, sumo is not the best for me. I'm just trying to, you know, improve hip strength and whatnot. And so, and generally, you know, while there are some differences, sumo and uh, conventional, generally the same thing. Um, and so for me, if one feels amazing and the other one feels terrible, I should really be doing the one that feels amazing, um, regardless of being able to lift the most weight or anything like that. So, and I understand you should address your weaknesses, so I should still try and work on my low back and everything like that, and I totally get that. But doing it in a compound lift where you're pulling a lot of weight um, or maybe, oh, you spent a couple weeks doing this, working on your form. I really think you should just do the one that feels the best to you and just try and um, do isolation exercises if you really have those imbalances. Um, so for me, from this point out, I'm probably just going to be doing strictly sumo. Um, and I actually got a decent amount of gains, even though it's crazy to think my deadlift was even worse not too long ago. Um, but I was doing sumo, got some pretty good gains, tried to go from conventional and sumo like trying to do both and i just um haven't really been getting gains and i think it's just because it just feels wrong and i do that conventional set and i just am not able to really push myself on my sumo set because i'm so taxed um so you know for me specifically i think with deadlifting that is you know a big issue um and i think a lot of people should just try and do what feels natural to them um, as far as squats go um you know a lot of people Oh, you always got to do a low bar squat. For me, my shoulder mobility, I think, is what it is. It's just so bad. I, I cannot get in position for a low bar squat. Um, I've ne I've done low bar squats um, before I started doing shoulder work recently. So I've been working my shoulders the last few months. And I was able to do low bar squats. It just kind of hurt. Um, and I couldn't really get it right um, on my back. But I was able to at least complete some reps. Whereas now I straight up cannot get in position anymore. Um, and yeah, absolutely. Like I should be working on my mobility. Um, but I really don't need my squat to be much higher. And I, I don't need that ego boost to, you know, up it just to switch to low bar. And if I'm going to be doing deadlifts, you know, I think I'm going to be working, 
um, those same muscle groups anyway. So for me, um, I've just been focusing on um, form on my squat and not really focusing on high weights at all. And I honestly just think high bar feels the best to me right now, even though my depth can feel a little wrong, um, just because of my long legs and just not the greatest mobility. Um, but I think, you know, if high bar feels good for you, it doesn't matter if you can lift a little bit more doing low bar. It's all about just long-term results and staying injury-free and just doing what feels natural to you while still trying to, you know, you should still try and low bar squat, work on your mobility, shoulder mobility, um, work on those muscle groups, but you shouldn't just force it just because it's going to allow you to lift more weight. Um, and then finally, you know, I don't really have anything to say about the uh, overhead press, but um, with bench press, you know, people do that crazy arc, um, do the leg drive and all that stuff. And for me, it's like, yeah, if you're going to be in a powerlifting meet, I guess, um, if you're trying to tell your friends that you, you know, bench the most weight, yeah, I guess. For me, I've always just kind of done the flat bench press. And I understand in my last video, somebody was telling me that my wrists go way far back. I've always had pretty good wrist mobility. I don't know. I mean, I've tried to change that and I haven't noticed any difference. Um, and maybe it's just something I need to work a lot on. Um, but for me, it's like when I'm doing the bench, I'm trying to work, you know, I'm trying to get a good range of motion. So for me, arching, limiting my range of motion, getting leg drive to get more. I mean, I don't, that's not the way I see it. Like I'm not trying to like in all these instances, you change up your form um, and you're doing these things to lift more weight. And for me, it's about, you know, improving your range of motion, just getting stronger, staying healthy, right? So for all these lifts, I really think a lot of people, the same thing with even using a belt, you know, I think using a belt can be a good safety measure. Um, but I think you should practice doing both. Like just cause you can't lift as much without a belt doesn't mean that you should, you know, just always use the belt all the time. I just really think you should try and do a variety of things, but at the same time, don't focus on the thing that's going to allow you to lift the most weight. Um, just try and get stronger over time, overall, in your entire body and do things that are going to allow you to remain safe and stay in the gym. And I just really think over time, if you have that mentality, you're going to be able to pull X amount of weight doing sumo or conventional. You're going to be able to bench using any form. You're going to be able to squat, you know, at any depth with this weight. And I think if you just continue to get stronger, continue to stay safe and do what feels right, you know, maybe you never deadlift for the rest of your life. Maybe you never squat. Maybe you just decide that those lifts, you know, if you're not competing in a competition, maybe there's no reason to do all those. You know, you don't, there's no one lift that you have to do. You know, everything is, you know, for one, you know, for your own purposes. And I just really think you should focus on yourself and just try and improve your own lifts and not try and worry about some golden ratio of, you know, bench three, squat four, deadlift five, or four, five, six, or whatever. Like, those are just arbitrary numbers. Just focus on you and try and remain healthy and do what's comfortable. And I think you'll get a lot better results doing that. Um, that's what I'm going to continue to do, and I will keep you guys updated.